Welcome. In this video, we're going to take a look at the one by one wireless keyboard, and I'm going to be hooking this up to my Channel Master Stream Plus. So right now what I've been using is this uh, Anchor Bluetooth keyboard and this Apple Bluetooth mouse. And uh, I mean, they work for the most part. I also have this uh, Logitech, I think it's a K400R. And this has a little um, USB dongle on it. This is not Bluetooth. I'm using the USB port on my Stream Plus, so this one isn't gonna work for that purpose. So this is a Bluetooth wireless keyboard, and it, it's kind of modeled after a like a laptop, where you have the keyboard and the mouse uh, together. So here it is. This thing's extremely thin. If you look at it compared to the uh, K400R. And then this, this is thin on one side and thick on the other. So this, if you uh, have Mac stuff, this is almost the same exact size as the Apple keyboard. So for comparison here, you can see that the one by one's quite a bit narrower. So. I don't know if you'll be touch typing on this thing. Although, you know, when I'm connecting it to this uh, Stream Plus, I'm mostly going to want to type a couple things in I'm, if I do a YouTube search or use the touchpad. So, this also has a charge cable. So, this is US, or uh, this is a, uh, has a lithium battery in it, rechargeable, so you can charge it up. Don't know how long the charge time is on it. It has some little rubber feet. Looking a little closer here, we have an on off switch status. I assume that is when it's on, it might be lit. Well, that's the power one, is this top one, it turned on. Um, we've got uh, home and page down, page up on the cursor keys. We have the windows key here. There's a little Bluetooth icon, I assume that's for pairing. And you have your F keys up top. So it looks like a pretty standard keyboard. I think this might be a little easier to use than this. This was a little tricky here because you can't feel this exactly where it's at. I mean, I didn't use this enough where I got used to it where I could just pick it up and uh, know where those arrow, 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 where those arrow keys are. But this one, you can uh, you can just pick this up, and I think it'll be a little easier for that. So, so I'll get this uh, connected up to the Stream Plus, and we'll take a look at it uh, connected to the system. Okay, so I'm on my TV here with the Stream Plus open. What I'm going to do to pair this is I'm going to go to Settings, and you'll see there's this Bluetooth, but you don't want to use that. You want to use this Add Accessory here. And now I'm going to turn on the keyboard, and I'm going to hit uh, Function C which should enter it into pairing mode. Okay, it sees it, so I'll choose that. I'm using the Stream Plus remote. Okay, so now I'm going to hit the escape key on the one by one and it's working. I'll, I can push down with my cursor keys here. So I can use my cursor keys now to navigate. I can go up to the top, I can hit, click to type, I'll hit enter here. And I'll say Rick makes videos. Looks like there's a cook that uses my same uh, Rick makes. There we go. And I can hit enter to open it. So I'm doing all of my navigation on the keyboard. I'm using the uh, little key up here at the top. That's pause. And it's pausing the video. Some of these don't do anything like the audio uh, sound one doesn't really do anything. Now I can skip this ad using the mouse. No. 
my life? Hello. In my last video in this series, I did an unboxing of a Sonoff. So I can hit escape to go out of here. So I can use my touchpad to move the mouse. You can hit this button here to turn that touchpad off. That's kind of a neat feature. So if you're, um, you know, mostly using the keyboard, you can turn that off so it's not uh, disrupting if you're typing with your hand on there. Another thing I just noticed is that there are little tabs on the corners here. So if you lay this flat on a surface, the keys don't touch, just the uh, little rubber pads. That's kind of neat. So in the instructions here, it has a little table. It says for Windows, for Android. And on the keyboard here, there's a, there's a key here that says for Android, for Windows. So when we hit this, it will set up the uh, keys. We'll set up the key functions. For instance, when we hit the little house icon, which is up here in the escape key, that takes us back to the home. So some other functions are search, select all, copy, paste, email. It looks like, um, actually it looks like everything is the same except for the top button, or the top choice, which is on Windows it's web browser, and then it's home on Android. But the rest of these look like they're the same. So, so that's the basics of the uh, one by one keyboard here. I'll put a link in the description of this, and if you buy one using my link, it helps me out a bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So, if you have any questions about this, leave it in the comments. If you like this video, please click like, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.